Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? We uh, haven't been around for a minute here because we've been busy being parents. That is Billy. Look, he got a goober on my chair. I don't know what to do other than beat him half to death. I got a puppy. Why are you looking at me like that, woman? Anyways, we're uh, on home time again. Um, Melissa was being a big sissy baby, so she had to get some stuff done to her guts, and uh, which required uh, being knocked out, and I had to pick her up, so I couldn't even leave her here. Um, what was it called, babe? Uh, 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 lobotomism? Yeah, that's it. A stricture what? A balloon dilation of her guts, of her yeah, stomach. Yeah. Basically, what it was, she's had gastric bypass done like 13 right. years ago. And her throat hole to her stomach got down to the size... Her stomach to small intestines. Her stomach to small intestines, the opening got down to the size of a corn kernel. And about a month or so ago, maybe two, three months ago, she started uh, experiencing some discomfort when she would eat. A year, and then it got to the point to where she was constantly, like when I eat too much after my sleeve, if I eat too fast or too much, my food builds up into my throat and it has nowhere to go, and you can feel it. She started getting that for eating anything. And so we decided we had to investigate. She's seen her doctor, and after they found an ulcer in there, because, you know, I gave her an ulcer, and after all of that, um, she's watching some stupid circle show. Um, after all that, uh, trying to get rid of the ulcer, they determined she has to get this balloon shoved up her ass and then blown up. It's yeah. it down throat. your throat, right? Down my throat. So they put it in your butt, pulled it out, no, put it down your throat. No, no. There was no butt play at all, huh? No. So that's what she did. Um, she went this morning. So now, uh, it was a success. She's good. Um, but we taken advantage, or actually, we've had this planned. We have a yeah. Jeep adventure. Yeah, so I actually um, planned the procedure for the Jeep adventure. Well, no, we planned the Jeep adventure, and then she got so sick out there. I told her, I, I said, when are you supposed to go back and talk about that procedure? Because at that point, they weren't going to do it unless she didn't heal. And it was like two months, and she ain't healed. Okay. What did you say? Well, I don't want you to get mad for spending the money. Yeah, and you just spent how much on the guy? I'm like, what the fuck? Are you out of your mind? No, when I told you, I said, now, how come you haven't called the doctor back because you didn't heal? You said if you didn't get better. And you're like, well, it's expensive. I'm going to have to go in for that procedure. I looked at her like she was mostly retarded. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but it has to be done. You can't be out here dying and throwing up and not being able to eat. Yeah, I didn't um, know. Yeah, so she had it done. She's hopefully everything's going to be good. We're leaving Friday morning to go on our Jeep adventure to what valley something or other? Hidden Hidden Valley Ranch in New Mexico. Oh, that's a dressing. In San Antonio. It's an off-road park. We got a cabin we rented there and uh, I got the Jeep all ready to go. We're good to go. So we'll spend a couple of days there for till uh, the new year and then get back out on the road. And after Billy gets fixed. Oh, and Billy's getting fixed on Wednesday or the day Tuesday. Tuesday. Day We're getting back on the road on Wednesday. Billy's getting fixed on Tuesday because number one, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. Don't don't judge me for this, but I thought his balls were a tumor. I almost <laughs> cried. He's never had a male dog. I've never dog had a male dog. In his life. And at the base of his wiener, there was these little balls. What are those gl something those glands? Are glands? Something glands. And then you thought Between his wiener balls. and his butthole, there was these big red sacks, which I thought were tumors. And I had to tell him, no, David, those are balls. She told me that, but then I took him to the vet, too, and made, the vet, made the vet look at him and say, dude, are these tumors? And the vet's like, you're an idiot, dude. That's you. It's fucking balls. What the hell? You got balls. I said, yeah, but my balls are attached to my wiener. They ain't freaking three inches behind my wiener. 
So anyways, that was a big scare and embarrassment, I guess. I guess it should be embarrassed that I'm telling you guys this. It was. Uh, in the end, it was funny. As a matter of fact, Melissa thought I was uh, joking when I, I was know, freaking out about it. I was looking at you cross-eyed, waiting for you to go, I'm kidding. Yeah. You weren't. I was like, oh, no, I wasn't kidding. I didn't freaking know. I've never had a male dog before. I never, you know, never paid attention to a male dog's yeah. anatomy, you know. Um, cocktail, but it's still frozen. Yeah. Fire. Oh. Yeah, your candles. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Taste that now. It's really good. What'd you do to it? <laughs> What's that face? Um, so anyways... That's what we're doing. That's where we've been. That's kind of everything. Then we were out on the road dealing with some, some weather and whatnot. But with her being sick and everything and all that and getting the dog. And, you know, I've missed my puppies forever. As a matter of fact, the dog was a total surprise. Oh, yeah. You didn't tell about your Christmas present. Yeah, the dog. No. Oh, the dog's not a Christmas present. No. No, for Christmas. because Because here's the thing. I was kind of... Finally, you know, needing my companionship is look at that's what they do. And I kind of talked to Melissa a little bit about getting, you know, what does she think about getting a puppy and bringing on the truck? And she was like, are you out of your freaking mind? Are you just stupid? So after a while of that, I kind of gave up and figured, yeah, she's probably right. Um, you know, even though it would be nice to be, have a reason to get out of the truck and all that uh, good stuff. So get five more if we can get us out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on. I gave up on the dog thing. And then Christmas, um, well, we had an early Christmas because uh, my daughter came down on the 14th. So we had Christmas on what, the 16th or something like that? Yeah, something like that. The 19th, it was a Friday. I oh, I got her a cell phone. I got her a new S22 for a Christmas present, plus yeah. that candle you've seen burning. And I can't remember the other thing I got you. I can't remember. So I'm opening. She got me a present. I opened this present and it's a freaking dog dish and a dog uh, uh, a towel. I'm like, what the frick? And then I realized, oh, crap. If she bought me all this, where's the dog? I started looking around for a dog. And she's all, you have to get your own dog. I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> and so that's what oh, I did. Special um, I found me a little Yorkie. I was looking at Yorkie cheese or Chi Yorkies or York cheese or Yorkie Chihuahua mixes because I don't want to spend $1,800 on a damn purebred Yorkie. Um, but we found him. He's not registered. He's just, uh, you know, he's just a backyard, I guess, a backyard. We actually, where I got him from, it's kind of funny because they had a Yorkie Chihuahua mixes too small. and we went to go look at him and... They didn't tell me that the one, the, they, they were freaking mini. Um, when I looked at them, they're like, yeah, they're not going to get any bigger, which they were about half the size of him. They said the mom was a, a mini or a toy. I'm like, oh, man, no, I don't do toy dogs because, you know, the health issues. They have all those health. And plus, I didn't want a dog that small because I would end up squishing them or something. Yeah. Um, and they're like, oh, well, we got this Yorkie. If you're, you know, you know, thinking about a Yorkie, he was a male though. I was looking for a female because I've never had a male dog and I'm afraid of him spraying on everything. So we're going to cut his nuts off and hopefully that keeps him from doing that. But he's been pretty good. He's, he's been pretty good. Um, now let's get to trucking. Things, uh, things have been a little on the slow side. Yeah. We're, oh, some of you may know we were on a dedicated run for about a week and a half. Uh, but we went on home time, and when we came back from home time, it wasn't available anymore, I guess. I think it, I don't think it was a permanent thing. I think it was just a holiday thing. But uh, I'm still trying to get back on some kind of a dedicated thing because I liked it. Didn't you like being dedicated? Knowing liked, where we were I going? Texas to North Carolina, the first one. Yeah. It was really nice because it, it, it utilized our time perfectly. Um, and it was just enough time to be able to do stuff. Yeah, and and it wasn't so, even though it was U.S. mail, it wasn't so rushed that we couldn't stop and smell the roses. We were able to stop and smell the roses on the trip. Plus, um, 
when we would uh, uh, drop and pick up, there was, uh, you know, eight hours between dropping and picking up or so. So you had time to do stuff. Uh, I'd like to find another one of those if we can, at least until winter's over, because I, I hate freaking winter. But yeah, that's where we've been. That's what we've been doing. I was going to do a live tonight, but it's getting kind of late and Melissa's wanting to make dinner. So I figured I'd just do a quick, uh, I figured I'd just do a quick DJ's on and she's got her dun, 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 got her grape juice. We have a Facebook page, Trucking with David H. Come join us. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Person throwing up.